and then hit him with a thunder wave, and then make it easier for some other guys to come in and fuck him up. Anyways. Oh, god damn it! Fuck! I was hoping he wouldn't hit Cthulhu! You bitch! Oh, god, Cthulhu. Damn, Cthulhu! Well, it's a good thing we were running back to the town to get more clothes. Now we can revive your ass at the same time. Damn, man. Okay, whatever. Just fuck this macho cup, man. I'm not, I really hate how people pick on Cthulhu like this, man. It's weak against so much stuff. It's crazy. Okay, that was a good day. God damn, Machoke. You know Machoke's favorite spot to be pet in Pokemon at me is his crotch? Like, what kind of messed up stuff is that? You know the Pokemon company did that intentionally. Damn, I'm Fianne, no defense? No defense boost at all? You are gonna be the emphasis of a glass cannon. <sighs> Bitches. Picking on Cthulhu. What did Cthulhu ever do to you? God damn it. Let's get to the town so we can buy some more clothes. Oh, and revive Cthulhu, excuse me. That's obviously more important. Maybe. <laughs> I'm a horrible trainer. I'm telling you, this is real life. I'd be put in jail for Pokemon abuse. You mean to tell me you you had a, a dying Pokemon and you didn't go to the gym? No, no. You had a dying Pokemon and you didn't go to the Pokemon Center. You went to the boutique? <laughs> You're a horrible trainer. Like, bitch, you gotta look good before you can make moves. <laughs> you gotta look good before you can make moves, god damn it. And besides, could they lose a trooper? He knows what's good. Cthulhu's good. He's, he's fine. Don't worry about him. Anyways, let's throw in some, some, uh, repel so we can keep these Pokemon from trying to jump us. Um, where's the repel at? There we go. Boom. Excellent. Now, I remember somebody telling me in my videos that the, um, that the Pokemon, I mean, the items that appear in the boutique change depending on, like, the time of day or maybe they just change in random order. So, keeping that in mind, I want to see if there's a certain shirt in the boutique because there's one that I know I really want to buy, but I haven't seen it ever since I like left it because that shirt was really expensive. No, we don't need another one. That shirt was really, really expensive and I wanted to see if I can get my hands on it, so we're going to try. Anyways, let's put Cthulhu in the Pokemon Center. Definitely a priority on you, man. Poor little Cthulhu, man. Fighting moves, rock moves, water moves, grass moves. God damn, and ground moves. It's weak against fighting and ground, the two most like raw attacking types in the game. Not only that, but it's weak against grass and water and, and, and rock itself. Like, damn. The only resistance it has is ice itself. Normal. Bug. It, it's not... It's not a good day for Cthulhu. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You see? I purchased all this shit. All of it. But I could have sworn that in a boutique before, they had a shirt that I really wanted. Let's see if they got it inside the changing room. Maybe they might. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. Who knows? Anyways, let's see. The music in here is funky as fuck, man. This outfit is so crazy. Okay, um, let's see. Mm, nope, they don't have it. I bought everything that the store has to offer. I would go all the way back to the first boutique to check that one out, but I don't want you guys to kill me, so... You guys are already probably like blown away that I'm actually going all the way back to the boutique for this kind of stuff. You know what, while we're at it, since Cthulhu seems to be very prone to dying, let's pick up some revives. You know, they're expensive, but it's well worth the investment if I can keep Cthulhu alive while we're on the go so we don't have to constantly run back to these Pokemon centers. Wait, what did you have? A oh, a Dusk Ball! Those are like some of the best balls. That was some homo shit. Um, okay, we got Dusk Balls. Like, I heard those have, like, the highest catching chance out of everything if you stack up certain effects on each other. Okay, revives. Let's see. Let's get 11 of these. That's expensive, but I'm not even going to look at it. Just buy it, and let's keep it moving. Oh, man. I, we, we bought a lot. You know, all of our money's gone, but at least it's spent towards a certain good thing. And on top of everything else, we can get more soda from this chick to feed our Pokemon. I'll take a dozen. Oh, god damn. I'm too broke for that. I gotta sell some more stuff. Uh, what I love about this game is that it's actually taking fashion quite seriously, so everybody here looks really fashionable in this game. And it can be appreciated. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to be a professional male model, so, you know, I would always be around fashion and such, you know, when people weren't trying to put their dicks in my ass. Not that I have a problem with homosexuals. I don't have a problem with homosexuals at all. I just have a problem with people who are overly forward with sexual advances. Like, goddamn, man. I, I'm, 
But then again, yeah. I mean, I don't mean to like discourage any of you if you're into the modeling industry, but the reason why I left, a, lot, a big reason is because there's too many people trying to make moves on you. And it's like, it gets frustrating because it's like, you know what, I'm not here for that. I'm here to, <sighs> whatever, whatever, I'm done. I don't really need these, I'm just gonna sell them. Who, when am I, when am I ever gonna evolve a Pikachu? Like, really, They're, and they sell really well too. Like, Thunderstones are good. Plus, this is Kalos region, the region of rocks and cocaine. I'll be able to easily find me some more stones. If you got, if you got hiker dudes talking to me about how they like little kids smooth stones, then there should be no problem for me finding a thunderstone in this region at least. I'll take 12 bottles of soda, lady. This is all for me, not my Pokemon, you know? I'm not gonna feed it to my Pokemon at all. You know? They eat healthy. I'm fucking lying. <laughs> Alright, so, so since this bike is so fast, let's actually get back into the game. So, here we go. Back to... Man, I'm telling you, man, this is like the biggest drug dealing region ever. Like, so much stuff is built off of rocks. Like, I can see that. Maybe I'm being overly negative, and you know, of course, I'm doing this for comedic value as well. But it's like the obsession with rocks in this region, man. It's it's hilarious. And then you have Pokemon going mega, and the whole the whole breakdown of Pokemon going mega form is they holding rocks and using the rocks to get a high and becoming more powerful. Like. That doesn't sound like crack cocaine to you? Like, really? Anyways, let's run away from this. But that, that shit just sounds like, like, oh man, the Pokemon, like, has a stone, and he just used it on himself, and now he's bigger, better, and stronger, faster, but only for a temporary time. As soon as he leaves the battle of action, he goes back to normal. That sounds like some kind of withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Only I probably thought of this shit. Only I probably thought of the Kalos region being actually a huge drug ring. I wouldn't be surprised though, man. But I, I gotta admit, no no comedy or no joking around here. I really am curious about these stones, man, because they really seem a little bit odd. And one of the characters in the game, one, like one random hiker said, oh, I was talking to this dude named Coles, or Colrus. Colrus from Black and White 2. And he was like, oh, he was telling me about how the stones give off some kind of power. And I never played Black and White 2. I just wasn't. I was tired of that Pokemon equation by then, so. What the hell's here? Oh! I'm sorry, I wish I had more flying. I need to get a flying Pokemon. So that's gonna be the next thing. I did. I was wondering about getting a Halucha, but. Uh, I'm not really too concerned with Halucha. Anyways, what's in here? Reflection Cave. No roller skating, no biking. Interesting. Interesting. All right then. You know what? I just want to look around that route, um, Mirror Way, just to be able to see if there's any interesting Pokemon that are in this area. I mean, I'll probably come back here to do some recon later on, since I don't want to spend too much time dilly dallying with you guys. So, um, let's see. Where are we at on the map? Because I really want to. I don't want to just speed this game. I also want to learn everything about like where I'm at. So let's zoom in a little bit. So right now we we're at Geo Singe Town. But not much there. We are about to enter Reflection Cave to get to Shalor City. Okay. So, we. It seems like it won't be too long of a journey. Let's just make sure that this repel goes out because I want to run into some Pokemon first. Okay. Um, no. Let's go. Let's see if there's any interesting Pokemon around here. Although they probably. Whoa, howdy yama! Howdy mama! <laughs> not to damn, that's a big Pokemon, man. God damn, alright. Let's switch out of here because this is clearly not going to end well for anybody. This, I need a Pokemon that can take fighting hits. A flying type, of course, because this is not going to end well for me at all. Fake out. Watch this do like no damage. Even though Hariyama is pretty strong, Majesty may be a defensive wall, but it's they're gonna have trouble taking this guy down. You might want to hit him with a baby doll eyes just to like lower his attack a little bit so he doesn't fuck us up too bad. Whirlwind? Why does Whirlwind fail when a wild Pokemon uses it? It only it, I thought it was shuffle up my party. But okay then, so let's hit him with the headbutt. It shouldn't kill him. He has a lot of HP. Yeah, there we go. Alright. And now um, let's hit him with the Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave in general helps with making Pokemon easier to catch, so I'm not going to debate here with it. Let's, let's use it. Fuck it, why not? Smelling salts. That's a fighting move, isn't it? Oh, wait, no. 
it's a normal. Oh, okay. Either way, this Hariyama is in perfect range for us to catch now. So let's hit him with that great ball because our balls are great. Come on. Come on, stay in there. Yeah, we caught us in Harry Mama. Although, you would think that you would catch the pre-evo.